Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We we have a doozy today. We have a doozy today. I was doing my like five minute mandatory Twitter scrolling. I'm not even like limiting myself to five minutes a day. I just like, I literally can't even physically stand being on that app for more than five minutes. I came across this tweet that now has literally 22.1 million views. So the post says, I'm so angry right now stop finding women you see on dating apps on their personal social media profiles especially if you have not connected and there are zero identifiers in their profiles i got these and let my curiosity get the better of me videos in replies okay so this guy ryan andrews has clearly found her on facebook let's let's see what he has to say kelsey I mean, uh, K, okay, shit. Mayhaps that was a tad overly enthusiastic for a stranger danger message on a sunny Friday morning. My bad. Let's go with dot dot dot, uh, dot dot dot. I can explain? Yeah, that works. First of all, okay, we need to talk about that emoticon, okay? <laughs> One of two things can be true. Firstly, the mood just felt right and he literally googled and found it himself and he copied and pasted it physically from a website and added it to this Facebook message, which like absolutely could be the case. My guess though is that he's like the kind of person to like be so quirky that he probably has already copied and pasted it into his like shortcuts and he has to like type something in and it just like pops up automatically. Like that's just like the vibe I'm getting from this guy. Kelsey says, sorry, do I know you? He says, oh, hey, bro, you started the conversation. Literally nothing aggravates me more than when someone will text me like, hey, what's up? I don't know. And I'll be like, hey, what's up? How are you doing? And then like four hours later, the response is like, hey, how are you? You sought me out, bitch. Oh, hey, no, we don't know each other. Sincere apologies for the subterfuge. What does that even mean? Deceit used in order to achieve one's goals. He literally admitted that he was using deceit. Immediately. If you give me the tiniest bit of room, I'd be happy to explain. I reckon that said explanation will bring laughs and smiles. Interesting. I'm grimacing. P.S. Not trying to rope you into a pyramid scheme to sell fancy Tupperware, dot dot dot, yet. Genuinely not even trying to be funny. When I watch like a comedy special on Netflix or I go to like a comedy show, like this is what every single male comedian sounds like to me. Like every single one. Because quite frankly, if this was not in like a creepy Facebook message and if it was performed on a stage, these men, these men, they'll be eating it up. I feel like the Tupperware line was at least a little bit funnier than Joe Rogan trying to impregnate a chair, but I, why, am I, why, am I, why am I defending him? Okay, she says, explain away. I just spent 60 minutes singing to seniors with a mask on in a hot room. I'm not sure if I'm funny right now. I'm glad that he's at least not sure. That took a lot of energy. Okay, f it. I can do this. I feel like it has the exact same energy as the guys that'll be like, start sweating excessively through my Naruto shirt. Hello my goddess, would you like to go to Hot Topic after school today? And the girl would like, respond so normally and so dryly. Eyes widen in shock and shame, head falls to the floor, starts to tremble, and then it'll be like in parentheses. Oh no, I don't think she liked that. Maybe, just maybe I can say this. You know what I'm talking about? And then they always start like growling. This man is literally projecting his internal dialogue. Hey Kelsey, how's it going? Don't mind me, I fucking hate texting. I think we're all better without it, so I usually use one of these when I can. Um, also, I don't know if you've ever seen that Key and Peele skit, but that's how I feel. Key and Peele? Anyway, um, I just want you to know right off the bat, I fully accept how fucking weird this is. I'm sorry, but like I said, I think if you give me a second, you'll probably end up laughing. And uh, not that you need my permission, but feel free to just laugh directly at me for being a fucking idiot, for I am surely about to embarrass myself right now. I would also make the argument that embarrassing myself on a microphone is a large part of my job, and I'm quite good at it. So, uh, here goes nothing. <laughs> and sorry for the delay. I was going to get back to you, but I just, someone called about a gig tomorrow, and I'm trying to help him find a musician. Also 
You know when you're like in middle school and like something really exciting happens to you and you just like try to work it into like every conversation humanly possible? It's just like the humble brag of it all. Like that is insane. I don't know. If I've been on like a couple dates with somebody and they start like humble bragging as like a joke or they do it like ironically, that's like one thing. But like this is like 23 seconds into his first impression. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm funny anymore. I just spent 60 minutes, like I said, uh, playing guitar and singing to a room full of senior citizens, but the room was stuffy and hot. I had to do it with a surgical mask on, and uh, I'm not sure if I have any funny or social energy left, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and fake it right now. So thank you for your understanding and patience, and uh, here goes nothing, I'm a fucking idiot, enjoy. Why did he say that like he was just like, about to just release the hottest comedy special of all time? So, I was minding my own business last week, Ye old Bumble, everyone's favorite online dating app. Punch me in the fucking face. Don't get me started on online dating. And um, I came across your bio, and I let out a very emasculine noise. I mean, it was not... Is that a word? I don't know. It's kind of damn heaven, buddy. But it was not... I Honestly, I was like, this chick's made up. My first thought... First of all, he said subterfuge, and he didn't know if emasculine was a real word. He's like, I'm so much of an alpha male, I don't even know what emasculine means. Was that my mom paid you to write that bio just to make my day better and I was curious just to like ask you how much but the more I read I was like holy fuck this person's mind kind of weird and I just figured I'd say howdy and that if I talk to myself like an asshole for a couple of minutes you'd probably feel the same as me now I'm not going to pretend to know the depths of your soul from a couple cursory sentences and some photos but uh, I am a very good judge of character I'm a keen study of like personality and psychology and uh, you know I fuck it I need you guys to understand that my mom is literally a psychologist, okay? And all that means is that I just, I live very uncomfortably all the time. I have nothing against people who study psychology, people who are in the field of psychology, all of that, you know? Thank you, thank you for your service, even the troops. But when people are psychology enthusiasts, you're over here, I'm walking over there. I'm walking very quickly, swiftly over there, okay? And this is coming from someone who has taken as many psychology classes as humanly possible in high school and in college. I feel like you go on a date with a man like this, you cross your arms because it's cold and he's like, I, are you creating a boundary? You're creating a boundary between us, are you insecure? Also, he's saying he's like not trying to like say that he knows her because of like a few lines that he read in her Bumble bio apparently, but like he feels comfortable enough with her to, to find her on, Facebook? Like, that's insane. The trench is online dating for a couple of years, so I definitely know how to identify the kind of person. I'm like, eh, if nothing else, the world would be better if we were friends. So, hear me out. Um, first of all, I never see that shrug emoji. No one else uses it. It's typed into my phone. If I, if I type shrug with two Gs, it just shows up. Same thing. What did, what did I say? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? I feel so uncomfortable. I feel so uncomfortable. Listen, I do not participate in the warfare between Gen Z and Millennials, but <laughs> it's, I, this is making it difficult. This is making it hard. He, because he's lying. He's literally lying. He doesn't type in shrug with two Gs. He does not. He types in like, le shrug. He, he's wearing a fedora. I know he's wearing a fedora. Also, when men complain about online dating with like, just like excessive vitriol, like, <laughs> especially when they reveal they've been on dating apps for like multiple years at a time, I consider that a red flag. Like, yes, you know, was I on multiple dating apps for multiple years at a certain point? Yeah, yes, we've all been there. But sometimes I just like, I feel like you just know. Like, bro, the problem is in the room with us currently, and it's not me. Top, like, I'll use it in work emails, fuck it. Um, so right away I'm like, huh, interesting. I don't get it though, she's cute. For how pretty she is, she should be boring. Why does she seem kind of strange in a good way? Um, I think you said something about live music. My job is actually live music. I play- Okay. The sheer audacity, the sheer audacity to say that attractive women should be boring. Attractive women can't be weird. This is an issue that is <laughs> near and dear to my heart, okay? Because I feel like I've heard that so many times and like without fail, I never talked to the guy again. It's like to some extent I understand like a lot of attractive people kind of like play more on their looks but that's just like a gross exaggeration 
across the board. I feel like a lot of attractive people who are funny, pulling from no one in particular's experience, I always pull out the old pictures and everyone's like, Cass, no, you were so cute, you were so cute. And then I pull out this photo. Really? I was so cute? No, I wasn't, bitch. And I'm fine with it because I developed in a way that is not palatable for everyone. And I like that, okay? I like being a little unsavory. <laughs> I'm so weird. I'm so weird. I'm so weird, you guys would not, no one understands me. No one understands me. I'm not like the other girls. I watch anime, I read manga. She should be boring. Why does she seem kind of strange in a good way? Um, I think you said something about live music. My job is actually live music. I play guitar and sing. I do about 25 shows a month. Uh, I know it sounds made up. I feel like I invented the job. It's ridiculous, but I live very comfortably. Life is good. Um, I do play in a lot of retirement homes, and it's great for my self-esteem, Kels, as I am a big hit with women over 80. Not Kels. I had my ass grabbed by someone named Ethel last week, and for a second I was pissed and a little put upon, and I was like, honestly, I've been working on that, so thank you. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, but yes, um, it's just, oh yeah, and just the night before, I've been talking to one of my best friends in the world, Roxy, um, just people that like, meh. Do I even have to say anything about that? Can guys have like friends who are women? Yeah, of course, like I don't care, I don't care. It's just the fact that you're like, he's mentioning it. He's mentioning it. I feel like it, it's to it's to get a reaction. It's to be like, who's Roxy? Is there another woman in your life? Who's Roxy? That's what he wants. That's you and they just write, hey. So if someone writes, hey, I just write, hi. And if someone writes, sup, I go, nothing much, you. And like, people that match me and clearly haven't read my fucking bio, folks will match and be like, so what do you do for a living? I'm like, uh, come on, Chelsea. Like, yeah, you're kind of cute, but I'm pretty damn sweet. Try harder. I don't know. <laughs> it's just to see someone mention that in a bio, I'm like, thank you. I can see that you feel the same as me. Um, yeah, if people, I, I always think that effort should match interest in dating. So if you're curious if someone's interested or not, um, remember that scene with Justin Long and What's-Her-Face in that movie about dating? Is that he's just not that in you? And he's like, if the guy's interested, he will call. And it's true. So I found a line a couple of years ago where it's like, effort will always match interest. It will show you how interested someone is. And like, I'm pretty goddamn sweet. And I am not that lonely, bored, or horny. I'm not going to take breadcrumbs from someone if I want a sandwich. So if someone hits me with a hair high, you can go fuck yourself. I am worth more. Damn it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm having a physical reaction right now. The dog is, is here now and she has no concept of personal space. So please, I'm sorry. For the love of... I was like two minutes into one and it was awesome and funny and I was so proud of it and then someone called me again about a gig this evening and it's like, you know that thing where your friends know you're busy or you're on a date or something and then- So this is take two. Well, Jesus Christ. We'll, uh, we'll take it as a good sign. Um, so I don't know if I'm repeating myself, but yeah, no, your bio is just the fucking bee's knees. I mean, listen, top three in like the hundreds or thousands I've seen. It was just, I don't know, I'm a very good judge of character and you just seem like my kind of person. And I'm not saying we're star-crossed lovers. I don't know you and you don't know me. But um, generally the bios hurt my brain and make me think that maybe I should just try the other sex or not talk to people anymore. And yeah, it was I meant what I said. Like, I think the world would be a better place if you and I were friends and nothing else. So I fully accept how strange and unconventional this is. I just, I got a vibe and I figured I got to go with it. I was like in a really good mood that day. I don't know. <laughs> I'm totally winging it. But um, yeah, a lot of my close friends are women and everyone unfortunately has a couple stories of having to block someone's number or an ex just won't leave them alone or going to the cops. Fuck dude, I've had to block a few numbers of crazy people that didn't know they were crazy. It's like almost more annoying when people use being like self-aware to like manipulate you because like that's like clearly what he's doing he's like saying things like subterfuge and just like admitting how like absolutely creepy and weird this whole thing is and like admitting that he has some weird horror stories trying to put us all on on the same boat we are not on the same boat okay we're we're not even on we're not even in the same ocean my dude, okay? So I really, really apologize sincerely if this in any way like triggered that or it was weird or whatever. Uh, Kelsey, that's the furthest thing from my intention. I just wanted to say howdy and I figured if I talked like an idiot, you'd probably feel like I did after I looked at your bio. So um, yeah, I'm trying to put myself in your shoes now. What would I want to know if I was Kelsey? 
Oh, okay. It's not fair. You've seen mine, or sorry, I've seen yours, and you have not seen mine. If you want, I will screenshot my Bumble bio. I'm quite proud of it. I think it's pretty fucking good. It represents me well. And um, what else would I want to know if I was you? Gee, I'm like six feet tall, um, pretty damn handsome. I'd give me like a seven. No, like a seven and a half out of ten looks wise. I mean, to my knowledge, no one has dated me for my abs or my hair. I'm guessing it's because I'm funny and honest and clearly very humble and go to therapy and emotionally intelligent. Men have evolved a new manipulation tactic, which is mentioning that they go to therapy. And just even, even mentioning that they are emotionally intelligent. Oh my God. The bar is in hell if they think that this is gonna work because that's it. Yeah, and I'd say seven and a half, maybe even an eight. I'm feeling really good lately. I got a tan, I'm up to like 80 second side planks. I hate them, but they're totally worth it for the core. And, um, big feet. Ah! Ah! You know what that means, baby doll? Big socks. <laughs> um, what else? I feel like I didn't tell you enough about the bio, too. That shrug emoji was just, if nothing else, the fact that, like, you look like a Disney princess and you use that, I'm like, fuck it, I gotta talk to her. So. Stop. Stop. It's the zero self-awareness from going from just humble bragging to just regular bragging with just no indication on whether or not a person is comfortable. It's like he doesn't even know, he doesn't even know if she's comfortable that he found her on Facebook unprovoked. How like you, she did not ask you. She did not want to know how tall you were. She did not want to know. She did not want to know how many seconds you can side plank, bro. And she especially did not want to know the size of your feet or your socks. Oh, uh, but I'm sitting here, a middle-aged guy in his car with the AC on and a SpongeBob shirt. And I would call this like the technological version of, you know, when like Noah stops Allie in the notebook and he's like, I just, I had to talk to you when I see something I want. <laughs> yes, I just made a notebook reference. I don't know. I'm, I'm being a total idiot right now. So if nothing else, I figured you'd have a laugh and a smile and you can fucking make fun of me to your friends. I don't know. Now you have a solo podcast for a guy that makes like six grand a month on a microphone being an idiot. I'm sorry, I don't normally bring up money, but I feel like I created my job out of thin air and like I just submitted my 2022 taxes and shit's been getting so much better the last few years, so I'm quite proud of it. That wasn't me trying to uh, impress you though with money. I've got way more impressive shit than that. I just slipped out. I hope we can still be friends. Anyway, um... I'm not even trying to be funny, you guys. I'm not even trying to make a joke or be silly. Like, I'm being so for real right now. I want to be him. I want to be him so bad. It, just imagine the amount of freedom, the amount of freedom you just have, just, just being like that. Do you understand the amount of anxiety that I have? Even when I'm just in a group of people, I have, I can't even tell people I want to go to the bathroom. I will literally hold it. I will li I have too much anxiety to tell people I'm going to leave. So I just stay. I've just never experienced anyone reveal this amount of information about themselves it, it, in such rapid fire. Six grand to sing for seniors, sweaty, getting your ass grabbed by Ethel, that's crazy. So I'm quite proud of it. That wasn't me trying to uh, impress you though with money. I've got way more impressive shit than that. I uh, just slipped out. I hope we can still be friends. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm all over the place, but uh, you look like a goddamn Disney princess. The bio completely floored me. I felt like it was written by a friend or something. I just got like strong, like fellow neurodivergent, super cool, um, gregarious, happy person vibes. And uh, yeah, so listen, I'm an open book. You probably figured that out like six over shares ago. If you have any questions for me, please hit me. Don't be shy. Uh, if you want, I'll share my bio. I feel like it's unfair that, you know, I've seen yours and you haven't seen mine. I'm quite proud of my bio. I just got diagnosed, okay? I just got diagnosed and I, I am neurodivergent as well. Okay, let's not just call someone <laughs> neurodivergent if you don't know. And um, yeah, for the 80th time, I apologize if this was weird uh, or like gave you any bad vibes. That's not my intention. Um, yeah, I gotta drive home now because I gotta go sing at a bar in Mississauga and I have four more gigs this weekend and it hurts to talk, so. 
I'm sitting here in my car like a jackass. And uh, yeah, I hope that all made some kind of sense. And if nothing else, please take the sincere compliment. I've seen hundreds of shitty bios, probably thousands, and yours was easily top three. The only reason I'm not giving you number one is because then. I'm sorry. We didn't even we didn't not even acknowledge the fact that he was wearing a SpongeBob shirt. Who is booking a man that is wearing a SpongeBob shirt? to a senior home to perform. No one, because it's a lie, it's a ruse, it's a scam. But I'm a very genuine, honest person, and uh, yeah. Actually, on my way home, I'm gonna go to the park and feed the ducks. My favorite swan couple, Mr. Plumph and Mr. Plum and Mrs. Plumfet, they just had babies a couple weeks ago. So like, I'll run up and they recognize me, the babies are squeaking. The hierarchy of like waterfowl cute babies, they go swan babies, then ducklings, and then goslings. But, um, Yes, I may or may not do that four to seven times a week. I'm a huge animal lover. Dogs are better than cats. Cats suck. Sorry if you have cats, but I'm sure your cat is cool. Right? I'm a huge animal lover. Cats suck. I'm just a really genuine, honest person. The hierarchy of waterfowl? No, literally, literally, nobody asked. He's such a liar. I honestly don't even believe him about the hierarchy of waterfowl. Okay, I'm looking at the swan baby. I'm not I'm not a big bird person. I'm looking at the, these swan babies. Okay, I don't know. They're they're kind of cute. They're they're okay. What was the other one Go goslings? Goslings? Oh. No. No. These look kind of bony to the touch. I'm sorry. I've seen a duckling. Oh. Ducklings are so cute though. I think, okay, I think the hierarchy is duckling, swanling, and gosling. I think that's the true hierarchy. Yeah, your bio is awesome. I mean, there's a couple other assets I noticed too, but I cannot mention them without sounding like a boy, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm sure you've worked very hard to be in the shape you're in, but goddamn, lady. God damn, I would not kick you out of bed freaking crackers. So I figured if you are half as funny as you seem to be and half as cool as I got from that bio, I would say howdy. Um, yeah, all right. Hope this made you laugh and smile and uh, you have a fantastical day, Kelsey. Cheers. Can I just say that that was the third time he said howdy? I think the third or fourth time he said howdy. I would not kick you out of bed for eating crackers. Like, what is really the end goal? Because like, is do you really think a woman finds that flattering is that like do, is that what is that what he thinks like do, does he think that she's gonna be like oh he's so respectful like it's like you're already acknowledging you sound like an f-boy so what what unless you're so like self-obsessed that you think that the fact that you're a live musician and that you supposedly make six grand a month and you perform for seniors, you're such a nice guy, you perform for seniors. You think that like all of that gives you the groundwork and some leeway, a little bit of room to like say things like that? That's crazy. That's insane. The girl says, dude, so you saw me on Bumble and found me on Facebook, how? And then he says, oh, I honestly just typed in Kelsey and I guess I got lucky. Figure cause you put live music we might have friends in common or something. I blame Zuckerberg. Birds of a feather, if you will. So at that point, the DMs end. Now we get to see the bio. The bio that made this man so feral. Her bio says, give me a completed profile and I'll give you more than a hey. Likes, iced coffee, weightlifting, reading, bonfires, traveling, hiking, festivals, live music, and cooking. Dislikes, extreme cold, joy kills, bigots, mosquitoes, slow walkers, dead animal photos, and properly loaded dishwashers. I'm like, she's cute. She's she's gorgeous, honestly. Like, definitely getting, like, Disney princess vibes. And here's the shrug. See, her using the shrug emoji is fine. It's, it's cute when she does it, okay? It's endearing. I like it. It fits her. What is even more shocking is that there is so much more. This guy apparently does this to, like, multiple people. On the original Twitter thread, Kelsey is updating it and sharing other women who are talking about what this guy is saying. This girl says, so it was the summer of 2021 and I was on a dating app that was not linked to my social media and he found me on Facebook after I replied, I am not interested. He unsent all voice memos, but it was about six all over two to three minutes each. He said a lot of the, the same creepy stuff, like the big feet line. 
as well as my mom wrote your profile and he said the same misogynistic backhanded compliments like something about how pretty girls can't have personalities. In his message to the other girl, he says, oh damn, howdy. Uh, firstly, let me say, I know this is weird. Def not a serial killer. How is he using the word subterfuge, but he can't spell serial killer? Also, not trying to get you into a pyramid scheme or sell you Tupperware yet on the Tupperware part. If you give me the tiniest bit of room to explain dot dot dot, I bet you'll laugh and everyone's day will be better, lol. Why does that sound like, why, why does that sound so threatening? And she says, okay, interested to hear the explanation. Oh, hell yeah, let's do this. Warning, I am ridiculous and quite goofy. Plus, I've had some coffee today. I'm like the opposite of a Gilmore girl. They need more of it. I should not be allowed to have any. And then I'm guessing at that point, he just unsent all the messages. Oh my God. It's so interesting because the point of Bumble is that women are making the first move, right? And so it completely defeats the point. Please don't go and try and find people. I already looked, I can't find him, he's gone. Well, thank you for getting through that with me. I genuinely don't know if I could have done it without you. I can't tell if that was like a waste of my time or if I gained, no, it was a waste of my time. Well, thank you for being here. I'm transitioning from TikTok to uh, YouTube. I'll still be on TikTok doing like more so makeup and commentary, but I wanted to do a little bit more long form here. If you enjoyed this video, I will be making more. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button, please. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye.